hello everyone welcome to my channel so so far we discussed about what is how the skeletal systems and or the introduction to the skeletal systems so in this topic we are talking about the skeletal systems as scaffold now the scaffold uh, we know i am not going to give any introduction to scaffold now because the whole uh, topics uh, in what we studied in uh, muscles cells as scaffold we have discussed enough Scaff scaffold is nothing but it's a kind of network which will give where the cells can be grown so that that usually eventually it can be adapted so eventually the new cells will start growing there and uh, uh, forming a tissue and finally the that can be replaced with the normal healthy cells or the tissues so now the skeletal system that can be used as a scaffold for a tissue grow a tissue growth in certain applications that means the cell cell system also can be used as a scaffold to grow the tissue in certain applications so what are those applications on skeletal based tissue engineering is a field that aims to create artificial scaffolds to support a growth and regeneration of the tissues and as well as organs that means it is an artificial uh, what you say the scaffold that means the skeletal systems we can use it we can create uh, use it in a tissue engineering we can create a scaffold for what person uh, like uh, for example for what purpose to support and for us to support the growth of the cells and as well as regeneration of the tissues or organs understanding so to get the entire organ to get the entire tissue to get the entire cells we are going to create artificial scaffold by using skeletal system so in some cases the natural structure itself of the skeletal system that can serve as a scaffold understanding you either use artificial scaffold with the help of skeletal systems or you directly use the natural structure of skeletal system though both will serve as a scaffold or a template for the tissue engineering purposes illi en helta idava pa andre skeletal system anna naavu idu varaku nam introduction kottvi namge ivaga nimge gottide skeletal system andre enu anta scaffold andre enu anta nimge modle gottide aita scaffold andre enu yedaadalu ondu structure irbeku three dimensional structure irbeku adralli cells grow aagbeku proliferate aagbeku differentiate aage tissue aagbeku athwa adanna adanna use madkonu naavu organs maadabodu ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹ ಅದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೋದು ಎರಡು ಸರ್ತಿ ಸಹ ಎರಡು ವಿಧಗಳಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು so for example the bone tissue engineering often involves in the use of the scaffold to facilitate the repair and regeneration of the bone defects or injuries imagine because of the um, what you say the injury or because of the accident the bone has been lost or the bone has been cut down or because of the lot of pressure the bone is uh, crack is formed so during all these applications or I mean the situations so you need to form a new bone so to get the uh, new bone what you should have you should have the scaffold to to get to what will the, what this scaffold will do we will use the tissue engineering and whatever the topics we discussed so far about tissue engineering like seeding the cells getting the scaffold then the cells will start differentiating then forming a new tissue then organ so like that all those things will be there so they will facilitate the repair that whatever the damaged bone is there no that or a defected bone is there or injured bone is there that they will repair and regenerate those bones okay by the help of scaffolds like how they regenerated the muscles what we studied in the previous topic so synthetic or a natural biomaterial scaffold as we told in the previous uh, slide both synthetic and natural biomaterial scaffold can be used to design for what to copy or to mimic the property of the bone so that means there it was a property of a muscle here it is a property of bone that can be used to fill the void left by the bone defect because of the bone defect imagine there is a lot uh, there is a miss uh, uh, because of the damage of the bone there is a missing bone or uh, in between the bone structure the lot of structure has been removed off and stuff so you need to fill that void okay so we can use the scaffold okay the natural it can be the natural or a synthetic so that this scaffold will mimic the structure or function of the or property of the bone now the scaffold now we where which you have fixed here that will provide a 3d structure that supports the attachment proliferation and differentiation of the cells as we discussed in the muscles 
so cells will come they will attach they will proliferate that means they will divide and then they will, they will differentiate of the, uh, then finally will it will give you the tissues okay involved in bone regeneration once the uh, after once they follow all these things the new bone will be formed understanding so over time the scaffold can be replaced now the scaffold whatever you have put no since the new bones have been formed uh, then the, this particular scaffold can be replaced by newly formed bone tissue so since the scaffold is biodegradable it automatically degrades so that new uh, as the bone new bone tissue forms so resulting the restoration of the bone structure and function so we get the the new bone which will have which will do its function that means we are restoring the its structure and as well as the function understanding so in the example in kurta idevi andre now bone tissue engineering nalli namge scaffold agi use martivi yavadanna skeletal system anna yavadak use martivi andre elli ella bone defects athwa injuries agirathalla yavado accident cases agirabodu athwa yavado ondu reason inda bone alli defect aadre athwa bone enadru cut aadre injured aadre ಆಟ ಆ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹಾಕಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇರು ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥ ಬೋನನ್ನು ರಿಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಹೊಸ ಬೋನನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಮೊದಲೇ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಈ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡು ಹೇಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಬೋನಿದು ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿನ ಅದು ಕಾಪಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮಿಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದೇ ಥರ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡನ್ನು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಆ ವಾಯ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ತ್ರೀ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗೇ ಓವರ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋದಂಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋದಂಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದರಿಂದ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನಮ್ಮದು ಬೋನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬೋನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮತ್ತು ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಬೋನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನನ್ನು ನಾವು ವಾಪಸ್ ಪಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು so in addition to the bone tissue engineering the skeletal system has also been explored as a scaffold for regeneration of the other tissues like muscle blood cell vessels cell, or nerves okay so that means in addition to this particular tissue bone tissue engineering the skeletal system can also be used in the regeneration of other tissues like muscles okay that connective muscles that what what we have we discussed about uh, earlier like cartilage all those kind of stuff next blood vessels also and even nerves also so the skeletal system can be used for these applications also so uh, and the existing the, the existing ecm and that is every cells will have ecm that we discussed in the previous classes in this module itself so extracellular matrix and the structure of the skeleton system that can provide a framework of the cells to populate and guide the tissue growth so whatever the cells are existing the in, in already in the bone which is left out uh, uh, surrounding the damaged part or the skeletal system they will provide a framework so that the, all these cells they can populate that means they can grow and then they can form a tissue so illi en helta idu appandre bari ee tissue engineering bari skeletal athwa bone ge ishte use aagdene bere regeneration bere cells regeneration bere tissue regeneration nu sa skeletal systems anna use martare adalle adalle muscle regeneration nu use martare blood vessel regeneration nu use maadabodu matte nerves regeneration nu sa use martare matte nammalli ella body alli gotta ella parts ella cells alli ella iruvantad eno ecm extra cellular matrix adanna use maadkondu matte skeletal system ivu eradu seri en madutte ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇದು ಯಾವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ರೋಲಿಫರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಅನ್ನು ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಮಾಡೋವರೆಗೂ ಅದು ಸಹ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹವೆವರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಪೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇದ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ ಇನ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರಿಪೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್
all the size the shape hardness everything you need to take into consideration careful consideration and based on that you need to modify the scaffold okay then only you can use the scaffold that is very important to to take into consideration then uh, additional steps are there for example surface modification okay so that once you the scaffold is ready you cannot directly go and incorporate inside the body so because we should check what are the other external environments where exactly we need to fix and how exactly the surface should be whether it should be hard whether it is should be soft all those things should be taken care and whether it is, should be hydrophobic hydrophilic all those things should be taken care so based on that we need to modify the surface of the scaffold then also incorporation of bioactive molecules that means along with the scaffold we need to add growth factors right in the muscles and all so similarly here we will be using bioactive molecules that means they are itself as a growth factor so that they will facilitate this particular cell proliferation and dividing so that finally we will get the tissue formation very faster so or then next we are cell seeding also cell seeding is also is additional step that we have discussed in the previous classes they may be necessary to optimize that means to get the best uh, scaffold effective uh, ca 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 scaffold for promoting the tissue regeneration so in the end uh, okay but we have to use the tissue scaffold and use the model we have to use the factors and 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 we have to use the skull and the bone and the the immogal and the cartilage bone and the difference here the difference is that it is hard and it is soft. So, we have to use the target tissue. We have to replace the bone and we have to use the scaffold. We have to use the concentration of the structure, the shape, the size, the hardness, the hard and soft. We have to use the scaffold. Tissue and the scaffold and the form of the match. So, now additional steps and the follow of the surface modification and the mod beko. surface modification. Yak mod beko andre. Now you have a scaffold and now we will bone get replaced mod liko skarili hakadaga. Illi ruanta surface and liruanta properties a berry agarate. Kiwi a liruanta properties a bega agarate. Muga liru the berry agarate. Mate head a liru a berry agarate. The skull ali. So, that's why we have to target the material. We have to modify the surface. We have to incorporate the incorporation of bioactive molecules. We have to do growth factors. We have to do growth factors. We have to do bioactive molecules. We have to do the extra step. We have to do the cell seeding. 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 हम यू नो ट्रायल एंड एरर मार दागा निम्न के ऑप्टिमाइज अंदर न्यू या वो स्कैफोल्ड हो इफेक्टिव आई वर्क मार दते या वो देखे टिश्यू रीजेनरेट मार दके अदर ना ऑप्टिमाइज मार बे को फर्स्ट हो अंदर या वो दल्ला रिक्वायरमेंट्स हो ना यूज मार कौन रे द बेस्ट क्वालिटी स्कैफोल्ड नम्बर सिगरेट इन � uh, again that restore the structural and functional properties of a bone other than a node condo now will make next though the skeletal system has potential as scaffold for the tissue growth successful application requires further research customization and integration with the tissue engineering strategies which are specific to the desired tissue type that means the skeletal system whatever we are using that can be uh, that is proving very potential field but also along with that which should we also should look into its successful application okay in terms of research customization like for example uh, what specific properties customization in the sense specific properties whatever the required properties by the patient that has to be delivered that is one thing next integration with the tissue engineering uh, strategies that means when you are integrating the skeletal system with the tissue engineering that is also a uh, very important so that's uh, to get the specific desired tissue type so to get that in order to do that uh, so we have to do more and more research so in the skeletal system on the potential scaffold or act at the tissue growth only other other care because you want to recall on the research uh, my degree now in no successful uh, 
ಜರ್ನಿ ನಾವು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣ್ಬೋದು ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಯಾವುದೆಲ್ಲ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಟೆಂಡನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡು ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತಾ ಅದು ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸ್ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಯಾವುದೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜೀಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂವನ್ನು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಇದರದ್ದು ಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಇರೋ ಥರ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಯೋ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಓಸ್ಟಿಯೋಪೋರೋಸಿಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಸ್ಟಿಯೋಪೋರೋಸಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಬಯೋ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ 